What's up, everybody? This is Pedro, the Hugh Billy Cook. And on today's episode, we're making a fricasse de pollo, also known as the Cuban chicken stew. And right now, you gotta start with the ingredients first. We're gonna have the chicken right here. You got drumsticks. And if you come over here, we're gonna make the, the Goya style. And this is the Goya version recipe. It includes the olive oil, need two tablespoons of olive oil, two ounces of ham finely diced, uh, a medium onion, the green pepper diced, the garlic cloves, two tablespoons. Also need uh, one tablespoon of diced oregano. Uh, we already talked about the chicken. Oh, the tomato sauce right here. A half cup of tomato sauce and uh, a bay leaf, which I don't have, but that's okay. And then the Spanish olives, which is right here. And uh, these are the Goya, uh, this is the Goya recipe. And also we need the Goya Sazon packet. And last but not least, we need the, the white cooking wine. A little bit of that will go into the plate. And now we will get back after these important messages. We'll be right back and we'll start cooking. Hi. I would like to introduce you to this product, Pam. Simply spray it down and your eggs won't get stuck on the pan. Now, it is a buy one, get one free discount if you order now by calling number 369-7528. And we'll even include a bonus pan. Thank you. This has been a message from Pam. <laughs> and we're back. And now we are we're going to be uh, starting with uh, the ham. You got to heat the ham up in a pan. Throw in the garlic. Throw in the onion. In a two tablespoons of uh, olive oil, the green pepper, and the oregano. I started it on nine, but I turned it down to medium low, and you want to saute that for 10 minutes. For 10 minutes, you want to saute this beautiful thing. Oh, this is going to be really good with the ham and all the ingredients together. But you want to saute this on medium low for about 10 minutes. All right, now after you sauteed it on medium for about five minutes, now you're going to be adding the chicken. We're going to kick on medium heat. We're going to add the chicken. chicken. Now we're going to heat up this, fill up this whole thing with chicken. Wow. All right, there's the chicken now. Oh yeah. Show them the chicken, the drumsticks. All right, and we're gonna be, uh, five minutes, we're gonna be stirring occasionally for five minutes. All right, everybody, so now that we have been browning the chicken for five minutes, we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients, which includes a can of tomato sauce. The olives. This is the Goya with the salt and pepper, all in there. There's the diced potatoes, they go in there. A little bit of the cooking wine, not too much. And a little bit more, why not? I mean, cooking wine, it's all right. Then I'm gonna take the liquid from the peas, put it in there, and an additional cup and a half of water to get the liquids to be above it. And last but not least, this packet, this is the magic spice packet right here. This is the bomb right here. This is what's gonna give it its beautiful color. It's from Goya. Look at that, look at that sauce, right? So now you're gonna combine all these ingredients. Give it a nice close up, uh, Raquel, my camera girl. My camera woman, I mean. You're not a girl anymore, I'm a camera woman. Show them the nice stew. Shows all the ingredients. So it's basically a Cuban chicken stew is what it is. And it's called fricase de pollo. 
So now listen to that boil. Oh, it smells good. So now you gotta get it to boil. And after you get it to boil, you gotta turn it down on medium and you gotta cover it and you gotta leave it there for 45 minutes. This is my sneak peek of my black beans that's looking so yummy. It's almost done. And uh, we'll be right back after these important short commercial breaks. After sauceing too much, water is healthy. Live a hat, healthy life with water. Okay, so now that we have done it for 45 minutes, there's one more step. Now we're gonna cook it uncovered. We're gonna add the peas and we're gonna add a little bit of butter. And we're gonna stir it. Gonna stir the chicken, look how good it's looking. It's looking good. Looking good, all right. And now we're gonna cook uncovered for another 10 minutes. Alrighty, so now that we're done, we're gonna plate the food and we start off by putting some rice down. Then the black bean. Gonna put it right over top of it or next to it, however you want. Most people want it right there, so it's presentable right on the side. And then now the beautiful chicken stew, we're gonna take one drumstick and another drumstick and put it side by side for presentation and then we're going to take the stew and we're going to take a big spoonful and we're going to pour it right over top of the chicken we're going to take another spoonful and pour it right over the chicken and there you have it this is called fricasse de pollo and this this is been a presentation of Pedro the fantastic cook I hope everybody appreciates this video I know that there's different ways of making it I know everybody has an opinion but this is my show and I hope everybody enjoyed the way I made my fricasse de pollo have a good night everybody until next time <laughs>